Hello and welcome to our first carrier update of the morning. I'm here with the one and only Donnie Gilbert. And Donnie, we're getting started with some reefer on this Tuesday morning. What do we have here? Reefer. We're going to kind of look at both reefer and dry van, but you can see starting about November 5th, November 6th, or 6th and 7th, we see both rejection rates start rising back up. And this looks pretty aggressive. The problem is, is dry van is the blue line. It started at below 3%. And it's only climbed to 3.51%. Now, reefer, on the other hand, it started around 6% and has climbed, or about 7%, all the way up to almost 11%. So reefer is doing, is performing pretty well, given the current circumstances. The problem is the drive-in. Now, we talked this for a long time, so we thought the fourth quarter was gonna be very mute. Well, what we're seeing here is, is we're still seeing that pretty much all the freight out there that's available for contract freight is being accepted by, if not the first carrier in their waterfall, uh, in the waterfall process, the second one. And so uh, they're not going very deep into their book of carriers. Uh, so we're still not gonna see a lot of overflow going to the spot market. Now, I will look at it in the, in the next segment, but we are seeing some increases in spot rate, which is kind of what this tells us a little bit, that we, maybe some rates are going up a little bit, but it's not gonna be a lot. <clears throat> First, we're gonna look at uh, dry van here, and look at the seasonality. This is where we are right now in this year. We are below all four previous years. So uh, here, at least last year, they were above 4% here, but I would expect this to follow out. If we hit 5.5% this year, it will be amazing. And that's the problem with how much extra capacity that there is in this market. Uh, and we'll look at the X's coming up next segment too. So driving, it's gonna be tough on the spot market. Again, we've said it, said it before, get out of the spot market, go to contract, or get on some place that's running contracted freight. Uh, of course, you may need to use some spot market loads to get your trucks back into their patterns. Uh, but uh, the only people that are really probably running over to the spot market right now are shippers that are looking for this um, discount on the spot market. And these discounts can be upwards of a dollar. We've seen some that are a dollar and a half mile cheaper than contract. So a big difference, and that's what 3.51% tells us, spot market rates are well below contract right now. And it's a feeding frenzy. <clears throat> now, if we look at reefer, reefer here in the blue line, or we've got uh, 2022 beat, it's climbing back up. It's at 11%. Uh, you can probably expect this to maybe jump up. So, you know, right around that 15% area next month as the big hump. But they started their climb. You can see these, all these previous years, of course, we're maxed out here on on, uh, on on rates here when we had 40% rejection rates in 35, this just means rates were just extremely high. But if you look here, you see this climb, I think we'll see something similar to this right here, but just a few percentage points lower. So reefer doing a little bit better with rejection rates, uh, but not as well as what we expected. And Donnie, one of the big things is of course that comparison to 2019. And we're thinking about seasonality and historic trends and things like that. Can you talk to the historic trends of um, this time of the year? We're thinking about reefer, of course, the holiday seasons, turkeys, things like that. Do we usually see some kind of a tick up from not just protect from freeze, but also produce as well? Uh, all right, so produce season, we're through the big hyper produce season. There's still, there's always produce moving mm -hmm. in different parts of the US. And of course, Fresno is always moving it across. Uh, right now, if we, if we see a big storm come across, it's gonna be cold, we'll see an uptick in protect from freeze, but we're kind of in that, you know, right now is the last big peak for, uh, for uh, reefer because of the holiday season coming up. Omaha steaks, turkeys, uh, duck, chicken, all these, all these poultry items are gonna be moving. Uh, and then of course, after the first of the year, uh, after the first of the year, it's going to get very, very tough for both reefer and drive-in. Got it, Donnie. Thanks for keeping us up to date. Right now, we're gonna toss things over to Kaylee Nix with our first look at today's top stories.